Hey, I'm Craig Rochelle, the pastor of Life Church, and I'm thankful for Leadership Network for a couple of different reasons. One is very personal. Uh, years and years ago, when I was probably in my early 30s, I met with a group of pastors that Leadership Network put together, and we traded ideas, and some of what I learned then helped shape who we are today. But the bigger benefit is I got to meet other pastors that have become lifelong friends and so that is a gift that continues to pay off in my personal life and ministry. Uh, on a second level, I'm thankful today that Leadership Network continues to get together pastors and leaders from my church. In fact, several of my leaders just met with leaders from other churches. And again, what do they do? They share ideas, they network, they talk about what's working, what's not working, theories, ideas, what they're dreaming about. And every time our team comes back sharper, better, and richer because Leadership Network brings together great leaders. I'm thankful for what's happened in the past years, and I'm thankful for how God will use Leadership Network in the future to develop more friendships, share more ideas, and build the kingdom. Hey, Leadership Network. It's Brian Tome at Crossroads Church. I am thankful for Leadership Network, and so is, so is Crossroads. Leadership Network has given us an ability to connect with other churches that are trying to plow ground that we're trying to plow ground. It's increased our our networking ability, our networking ability with leaders is what Leadership Network has done for us. And we're thankful for that. And it's also provided us ways to push ourselves, information that we wouldn't have had otherwise. We've gotten big data, something we're really big into. And we got into it because we were experiencing some learnings through Leadership Network at a conference. We went to a little round table down in Dallas. Our understandings of multi-site came from Leadership Network. Some of our um, ideas around groups, generosity, so many of the things that we've taken seriously have come because we were originally stimulated through you, through your work, and through your network. So thank you, Leadership Network, for Impact the Kingdom, and specifically the little corner of the kingdom called Crossroads Church. I'm Bruce Miller, Senior Pastor of Christ Fellowship in McKinney, Texas. I'm thankful for Leadership Network. They have helped our church to be more effective, inspired me to be a better leader, and given me a wider circle of friends and resources in a, in a, in a larger network that they've given me access to. Our church has been made more effective through being involved in multiple leadership communities. We've done multi-site, generosity, externally focused, and several others that have accelerated our learning and improved the effectiveness of our execution, as well as helping us benchmark against other similar churches in each of those areas. And Leadership Network has inspired me to be a better leader in the various senior pastor groups I've been involved in to meet some great friends, to be introduced to new tools that different other pastors and consultants would share with me, whether that's from a, everywhere from a sabbatical coach to a new software. And then I've really been able to develop, I think Leadership Network has given me a wider network of friends and resources, pastors, consultants that I didn't even know about or wasn't aware of, some of whom have become lifelong friends. I think with all their well-honed skills and facilitations and their ability to get the right people in the room for the right moment, that Leadership Network continues to foster innovation and be a catalyst for the growth of the church, which really is the growth of evangelism and discipleship in America. I'm thankful for Leadership Network. Hi, my name is Clay Scroggins, and I am the lead pastor of North Point Community Church. Uh, so many different leaders on our team have done work with the Leadership Network. Uh, personally, for me, one of my favorite memories with Leadership Network has been uh, being involved with the multi-site accelerator that they've done a number of different times. But we had a, an incredible time, specifically down at Chick-fil-A at their support uh, center. And it was just amazing to sit in a room of people uh, that are like-minded, that have similar struggles, similar challenges, similar opportunities, different hopes and dreams, and to be able to have conversations 
around what does it look like for us to be better at what we're doing on a daily basis. And then to be able to interact with uh, an organization as incredible as Chick-fil-A, it was just tremendous. And to have leadership network facilitators leveraging these relationships and content to be able to create great conversation. It was just an excellent, excellent experience. And so I'm so excited about what, what is happening at Leadership Network. There's a lot, of, uh, a lot of hope on the horizon and a lot of things in the future. And we, I know for sure, are grateful for this amazing organization called the Leadership Network. My name is Dan Ryland and I serve at 12 Stone Church in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, my connection to Leadership Network goes way back to the early days. Actually, it was a flight to Glen Erie, 1986, Colorado. And I got introduced to an early forum, which was really great. Um, well, a cool relationship that came out of that went from Fred Smith, my friendship with Fred Smith Jr. was actually a mentoring relationship, long-term mentoring relationship with Fred Smith Sr and uh, just a cherished, cherished time with him over the years, both of the Freds. And um, in fact, that, that early model of the forum, that round table, non-agenda, just getting the guys together, actually highly shaped my approach to leadership development. And even uh, Joshua's Men, the program that I put together just a couple years after that, and now is in hundreds of churches and thousands of guys have gone through it. So I've been impacted, my relationships have been established, uh, uh, leaders have been raised up, and I'm one grateful guy for Leadership Network. My name is Danny Anderson. I'm the lead pastor of Emmanuel Church. We're a multi-site church with four campuses in central Indiana. And I just wanted to share really quick a little bit about the blessings that Leadership Network has brought to our church. First of all, there is the annual conferences. Every year, we take our leadership team to one of the conferences. And what I love about this time is that we get to hear from great speakers, great leaders in ministry, some not in ministry. And we just hear some in incredible content that we're able to take and, and apply to our specific context almost immediately. What I love are the conversations that take place with my team after the conference, uh, during the conference, over a lunch or a dinner, or even in the hotel room. Those are some of the best times that I get to have with my leadership team. So, so there's the annual conferences. Then there's all this also this thing that we did called the Leadership Roadmap where Leadership Network basically provided some of their experts to look at our specific uh, situation as a leadership team. They did a, a staff survey to kind of get a, a feel of, of the health of our staff. And then they came to our church to kind of unpack that survey. And what we learned uh, about our, our team is where we're strong and, and where we're weak and where our blind spots are and, and what adjustments we need to make uh, moving into the future. And so we really got some, some good clarity on, on what we needed to do as a leadership team in order to make the impact that we needed to make. And so we really appreciate the roadmap. Uh, overall, it's just the conversations that have been taking place, uh, the changes that we've made. We've celebrated those changes and, and uh, those adjustments that we've made. And, and we feel more equipped as a leadership team uh, moving into the future leading our church. And so Bob Buford's legacy uh, certainly is living on through Leadership Network. And so I just want to say thank you to everyone who is on staff at the, at the network for the eternal impact that you're making, not just in our church, but in churches all across the country and all across the world. You guys are doing an incredible job, and I want to say thank you. God bless. Hi, my name is Dave Ferguson. I'm the lead pastor at Community Christian Church and also the visionary for New Thing and president of the Exponential Conference. And I just want you to know that Leadership Network has made a huge difference in my life, leadership, and our church. I mean, it goes way back to one of the first gatherings I got to be a part of was in Colorado Springs. It was a young leaders event, and you had to have a church of a certain size and be under a certain age, probably more than 20 years ago. Some of those people I'm still friends with today and have meant a lot to me and my own leadership. I remember the first multi-site gathering. We actually gathered here at Community Christian Church, and it gave birth to this movement that Leadership Network fueled that now has more than 8,000 churches across the country. Leadership Network is someone who encouraged me and Todd Wilson when we first launched Exponential, which is now the largest church planning uh, conference in the country and maybe in the Western world. They were also kind enough to help me and Eric Bramlett and John Ferguson publish our very first book, The Big Idea. 
In fact, I love Leadership Network so much today I actually serve on the board. Our founder, Bob Buford, would always say this, my fruit grows on other people's trees. I love that. And Leadership Network has not only helped me become a better leader, but also thousands of leaders around the world. And how they've done that? By their fruit growing on other people's trees. And Leadership Network, their fruit is growing on my trees. And I want to thank you, and I want everybody to know, I am a big fan of Leadership Network. I'm Jacob Williamson from Celebration Church in Austin, Texas, and the XP Roundtable group has been uh, instrumental over the last two years in the journey that we've been on as a church. I would say uh, probably the most uh, valuable piece and maybe even the unexpected piece is the relationships that have been built. Uh, truly lifelong friends that I believe from now until uh, I step into eternity, guys that I will do ministry with, stay in touch with, not only with them but with their families as well and then also as an organization just the resources the tools uh, the understanding of how to get out of some uh, maybe some areas we were stuck in and move into some uh, uh, areas where we're now moving forward as a church so uh, I want to just say thank you to all those who have been a part of it uh, and encourage anyone who would be interested in being a part of an XP roundtable to take the step and do it it'd be worth every time and resource that is uh, invested in that I want to tell you the impact that Leadership Network had on my life. My church is in Southern California, and while you don't think of it, there, Southern California can kind of be a ghetto. And when I was working as a senior pastor in the late 80s, early 90s, there were a lot of things that were going on. The large church hadn't emerged. The worship wars were happening. There were so many things that were going on in the church, and I didn't know where to turn. Leadership Network created a place where we could create discussions with other pastors who were going through the exact same things. I got to meet John Stott, who became a mentor for me. I got to meet Lyle Schaller, who taught me more things than I could ever understand. I got to begin to meet with a group of others in Southern California, Rick Warren, Denny Balesi, Chuck Smith Jr., and some other guys, where we began to meet on a regular basis because through Leadership Network, you created relationships for us so that we could begin to learn from each other. I love their style because what they did is they put us in a room and created a discussion where we began to talk about the things that we were facing, where no one had gone before. All of us were off the map and we didn't know what to do. But you created, Leadership Network created, a place for us to discuss, to learn together, to try, to learn from each other. It was the best and as a result, lots of us in my generation got to develop churches that were new, different. Uh, they hadn't been in existence before. And now, as the next generation's coming along, they've got to create new churches and do things in a new way, different from what we've done. And what I love is that Leadership Network's heart has always been to get those young leaders together, to create discussions so that they can create the next church that needs to evolve for the next generation. So I appreciate so much what Leadership Network has done for me. Hi, I'm Larry Osborne. I'm one of the pastors at North Coast Church in San Diego, and I want to take just a moment to talk about Leadership Network and uh, why I'm such a big fan of it. Uh, first of all, personally, uh, in the early days of my ministry, as our church began to grow, Leadership Network put me together with other pastors from other tribes and even occasionally slightly different theological perspectives than I had. And uh, I found out that I was not alone in trying to navigate uh, pastoring a larger church in a, a complex and a unique setting. And like iron sharpening iron, uh, I uh, became a much better leader and I think uh, had a better walk with God because of these relationships. For my church, uh, it's been a, a huge, huge uh, uh, accelerator in many areas of ministry. It not only helped me to be a better pastor, but it helped us accelerate uh, our, our passion in certain areas. Uh, we, uh, as a leadership team, uh, went through uh, some of the generosity teaching. We got together with other early adopters of the uh, a whole multi-site movement, and that had an impact. And uh, community service, uh, really quite a few different areas where we were exposed to uh, other churches that were doing some of the same things and best practices. And the impact upon our church, and again, upon me personally, was profound. Uh, 
over the years, a whole other area that's been a, a very powerful impact for me and I'm so grateful for is the privilege of being involved in uh, what Leadership Network calls its Next Gen uh, Initiative. And that is a gathering of uh, up and coming pastors who have large churches, don't have a lot of peers because they're on the young side. And in these groups, uh, many of the times the pastors and their churches are say eight, 900, but in these groups, they not only meet other folks uh, who are in the same situation, but they get a foundation laid and they are spared from having to pay many of the dumb taxes that most of us have to pay for ourselves. I recently went back and took a look at Outreach 100's list of 100 fastest growing churches and found that 10% of the churches in the most recent list are churches that had gone through that mentoring process as they were on their way up. And uh, on the uh, fastest growing list, it was 11 out of 100, so more than 10%. It has been an incredible privilege to be a part of that. And uh, as always happens, when iron sharpens iron, I come back a better pastor and a better leader as well. So Leadership Network has been profoundly impactful upon my life, upon the ministry of my own church, and I believe upon the kingdom as well. So Leadership Network, thanks a ton. Hey everybody, I'm Michael Fletcher, Senior Pastor of Manor Church in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Just want to say a word of thanks to Leadership Network for all that you've meant to our church and all that God's done in my life through you. But first I want to honor Bob Buford's legacy. The man was a genius and literally changed the way church is done in America. And through Leadership Network has helped so many churches like ours. I mean, we've been in everything. We've been in multi-site. We've been in student ministry. We've been in outreach. We've been in rapid growth and generosity. And I'll tell you, it's been a real blessing. The McKinsey survey helped us, took us to a brand new level. I would encourage anybody out there that feels stuck or you're looking for the next move to think about the McKinsey survey. It was tremendous. We're in big data right now, the engagement accelerator. We've already used it. It's already paid off. I mean, it's truly amazing what God is doing through you all around the country in our local church. And I just want to say personally, the first time I ever joined a group at Leadership Network, I didn't realize I was burned out. I really was. I was in a place I'd never been before. We were winning, things were moving forward, but it was taking a toll in my soul that it didn't need to. And it was through those guys in that, in that collection called Senior Pastors Too. It was in that group. I made some great friends, made some friendships for life, and those guys began to bump me in the right kind of way, and I began to realize that I was burnt out, and it was through Leadership Network and your mentorship that really saved my life in many ways. Saved, saved if I could use this term, saved the ministry that God's given me probably gave me another 20 years. I mean, I'm in a different place today. Um, it was so tremendous what God used you to help me do. I saw the burnout, got some help. Uh, it helped me, it helped our local church. Our church has grown. Listen, Leadership Network, I love you guys. I love what you do. I love the way you do it. I love your integrity. I love your heart for the local church. And I love what I see all around the nation that God has done through you to help us do church in a more effective way. Thank you so much. You're the best. Well, my name is Randy Pope. I pastor a church in Atlanta, Georgia called Perimeter Church. It was a church plant in 1977, and it was just uh, not two or three years, maybe four years after that, that uh, I got contacted by this group I'd never heard of called Leadership Network. And uh, this man, Bob Buford, and said, we'd love to treat you to a retreat uh, in Colorado Springs. And so uh, we'll take care of all the money, with all the costs. You just get out here and we'll, uh, we'll take care of you, and we're gonna do some things for you that's gonna benefit your church. I had no idea uh, what exactly this group was or how it would work, but I, I gambled on that and it sounded intriguing enough, and there I met men that were my same age, that were uh, pretty much uh, at my same stage of church, and we began to network together, and that was my introduction to Leadership Network. Uh, I've said since that time, having been involved for many, many, many years, uh, knowing Bob Buford uh, very, very well through those years, that uh, in many respects, I really believe that, that maybe what he's done through Leadership Network has had uh, maybe the most significant impact on local church in this country than any other movement, any other uh, leadership group or wh whatever. And I'll tell you why, because uh, what he found was that the greatest resources that the church had to become what the church needed to become was really each other. And so all the different silos of denominations and independent churches and so forth, uh, doing their own thing, probably very suspicious at that time of anybody outside their group, all of a sudden 
began to mix together and see that God's hand was on a lot of people doing a lot of things in a lot of places and a lot different than the way that we were doing it where we were. And so those relationships have gone on through the years. I'm telling you, I have friends now all across this country that are in ministry that we can talk to, interact with, and pray for. So uh, I just think uh, the world of what, uh, what God has done through this ministry, through Bob and Leadership Network, and I really think the future is bright. And that's why I think it's important that we begin to realize what was done then needs to continue. And I hope it will through the great leadership of Leadership Network. Hi, I'm Rob Ketterling, lead pastor at River Valley Church, and we have had an opportunity to be part of Leadership Network and some of their groups that they put together. And I wanna say this, uh, it's been a joy for us to grow, to cross-pollinate, which that has been probably the most enjoyable thing for us, to cross-pollinate with other churches and find out, first of all, we're not alone, first of all, and then secondly, that other churches have good ideas and we get to steal them while we're there. And uh, that's been a joy to be able to cross-pollinate, give away our good ideas, and in exchange, get other good ideas back. When we get together uh, with the groups at Leadership Network, uh, what we've noticed is sometimes we're the lead church and other times we're not. Sometimes people are leaning into us and, and trying to get over to us and see what we're doing. And then we're doing the same thing in other groups that we are a part of. All of a sudden, next thing you know, we're trying to get over into that conversation and be a part of it. So uh, I love that Leadership Network puts together people that are ahead of you, behind you, next to you, and you can learn from each other. One of the other values of Leadership Network is that they're like a confirming second voice. Sometimes you have great ideas, but when you're isolated, you think, I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Or maybe you move forward and it wasn't a good idea and, and you didn't have another person to be a confirming second voice or somebody willing to tell you, that's, that's just not a good idea. I mean, if you're just dealing with your staff, you might have people that are, are saying, yeah, that's a great idea. And you kind of have that inward focus and you think every idea is great. And then when it fails, you're wondering, why didn't we see it? When you get together with a group at Leadership Network, you're gonna have other people say, maybe you should look at it this way. We don't see it the same way as you. We don't have the same experience and that doesn't make sense. Or they might say, great idea, we're stealing that. Way to lead the way, run with that. Tell us how it works. If it works, we're all gonna copy you. So you'll see that in Leadership Network. When you get together, there's camaraderie. There's also an ability to learn from people. And there's also an opportunity for you to give away your ideas and have other people make them better. My name is Judy West, and I oversee staff and leadership development at The Crossing, a multi-site church in St. Louis, Missouri. I want to take a minute to say a big old thank you to all of our friends at Leadership Network. About 10 years ago, you sent Sherry Surratt on a mission across the United States to find women serving in executive roles in the church. After a very long search, she found 19 of us who were willing to make three trips to Dallas over an 18-month period. We did. After the very first day of the very first visit, we knew we had all found soul sisters. We grew so much and had so much fun together over that 18-month period that when we were wrapping up our very last session, we knew we needed to keep the group together. So I asked, can I keep this group together? And you said, go for it. So I did. Here we are, nine years later, and we're still going strong. Our WXP group, Women Executive Pastor Group, is comprised of women of all ages and various Jesus-centered denominations. We represent churches from 500 to 30,000, from Florida to Washington to California and Maryland. We wrestle through budget issues. We battle human trafficking, racism, poverty, and other horrific injustices. We share thoughts on org charts and HR issues and communication strategies. We resource one another, pray for each other, and support one another. At our last gathering, which happened to be hosted by a church in Dallas, one of our new women stated that she never thought a group like this ever existed. She said, finding women executive pastors is as hard as finding unicorns. I never thought I could find a group like this. Another woman responded, unicorns? We're one-eyed unicorns. We're one odd, special, unique group. So on behalf of a bunch of one-eyed unicorns, I want to say thank you. You started something special that changed us. Your influence has changed our churches. Thousands and thousands and thousands of lives have been touched because you started a leadership legacy with a group of passionate, broken, tenacious, crazy, dedicated women executive pastors. Thank you for serving us so well. And thank you 
for serving our King.